Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know Halloween is coming up and unfortunately because of all of the restrictions over here in the UK we can't do much about Halloween, we can't go out partying, kids aren't allowed to go trick or treating this year, it's going to be a completely different Halloween but that does not stop me wanting to dress up which is why I've created this devil look today. I thought I would go a little bit high glam with this devil look bit saucy with the red eyeshadow and the red lips etc i mean if you can't be saucy at halloween then when can you so this is why i've decided to put this look together and let's just unwind of what's actually happening in the world and just take some time to, to create some fun halloween looks together um i mean why not so i actually picked up these devil horns from the pound shop they were only a pound believe it or not um i think they are actually perfect because they're on a hairband, they don't move about when you move it, do you, know? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I see like these really cute horns all the time on social media um, and they're like loose horns and you have to glue them on, onto your forehead and I do think they look cute but would they not be like sliding down your face by the end of the night? I don't know. Um, so I'm not trusting them. Um, I've gone with a nice trusty hairband where I know it's going to stay on my head and it's not going to wobble about or slip at the end of the night. That that would not be cute. So yeah, so stay tuned if you want to see how I create this look. So first I'm just prepping my skin with the NYX Shine Killer Primer and this just mattifies your skin which I find really good because my skin is actually pretty oily. So I just like to cover that on my face just before I put my foundation on. Once the primer is absorbed, I use my NYX Born to Glow foundation. This has become one of my favourite foundations. It's so affordable and I just love how full coverage it is for like a fraction of the price of other expensive brands. To do my brows I use a brown shade from the Morphe 35H palette and I just fluff them up and fill them in really gently because at the moment I'm loving the laminated look. I just think it just gives my brows so much life and I just really like that look at the moment. Now this Wet n Wild concealer is my new fave. I think it only cost me $1.99, maybe $2.99 in boots. And I love how full coverage this is. And it really does cover up those bags under my eyes. Because at the moment, I've got <laughs> really bad bags under my eyes. Don't know why, maybe I'm not drinking enough water, or maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. But for some reason, the bags are like coming at me with some force. So they need to be covered. And I mean for the price that I paid, I am definitely not complaining how well that they cover. Now the whole eye look I'm using the James Charles palette, I'm just using the shade You're Kidding just to go right into the crease of that red and to really just get a deep colour into the crease. Um, I'm just using a big fluffy brush just to get it all in, it doesn't have to be precise, the messier the better. Halloween it does not need it to be precise or perfect, I, that's why I love doing Halloween looks because you don't have to be a pro or you don't have to look perfect. Um, and I'm just using that You're Kidding and I'm just pulling the shade out to my eye just to create a wing straight up into the hairline. And once you're happy with the shape that you've created, just move on to the other eye and do the exact same thing. And then you're using the colour Spooky, which is black, and a smaller fluffy brush. I'm just going into the depths of the crease, just really outlining and blending as I go. I'm 
moving on to glitter because what is an eye look without glitter I'm using the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette and I am just setting my brush with some setting spray before picking up the glittery shade it just gives it a little bit more pigmentation and it also makes the um the shade stick to the lid a lot easier now i'm kind of doing a cut crease kind of technique but without actually using concealer to cut the crease i'm just going straight in with this shade filling in my eyelid right up into the outer crease if you feel like you lose any of the black that you've applied in the crease, you can just go back over and just reapply that black and just really deepen the crease, whatever you feel like needs to be. And I'm just using the shade Spooky from the James Charles palette again, just on the lower lash line. I like how shadow makes gives off that smoky effect, but if you prefer eyeliner pencil, then go ahead and use whatever you prefer, but this is just how I like it. And then using that red shade that I used previously, I'm just going right under the black that I've just applied, smoking them two shades together. And now for the contour, which is probably the more scary part because who contours for red? But I'm just using that red eyeshadow in an angled brush and I'm just going right in like do you think the devil would be scared to contour I think not so that is why I am just going in do not be shy you need this contour to be visible it needs to be popping so just go for it I know as scary as it may seem but just go for it And then when you think that you've done enough contour, go ahead and add another layer. Why the hell not? It's Halloween after all. And then just contour the rest of the parts of your face that you would normally contour. So I'm going on my forehead. You can also do a bit of a nose contour if you want. I don't contour my nose personally, but you can if you do. And then just to deepen that contour further, I'm just adding a little bit of black eyeshadow and blending it in with the red. And this just really deepens the contour and gives off a little bit of a 3D effect. Taking a standard red lipstick, I just cover my full lips with that red and then actually go in with some black eyeshadow or you could use a black lipstick if you've got one and just blend out on the edges so you get kind of that ombre effect with the red in the middle. I do love an ombre lip and Halloween is that perfect excuse to do red and black together. You can't get away with it any other time. Now you're using a black eyeliner, I'm using the eye coat because it is like a felt tip liner, just drawn an upside down cross on the side of my cheek. And just pop on your devil horns and there we have it, really easy, simple to do devil look. Thank you guys so much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already and also give this video a like and comment down below what you think of this look. Um, I hope you all have a lovely Halloween, unfortunately it's not going to be as fun as we thought it could have been but you've got to make it the best out of a bad situation haven't you? So hope you all stay safe and take care and I'll see you all in my next video, bye!